Hello and so welcome back everyone, and forth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Aya Kara, the Jedi Sage, and where we last left off. In the last video we were speaking to our companions, getting to know them a little bit more, and we're now on our way to stop an Imperial fleet from reinforcing the attack on the Republic world of Corellia. We need to go try and capture a, an Imperial Dreadnought known as the Javelin. Before we do that, we do have a bit of mail from Ambassador Janik. We've taken thousands of years of Voss culture and given it a good shake. That's right. We've asked them to stop their civil war. Okay. Good to know. So where is this Imperial fleet? Uh, yep, it's in the core world on its way to Corellia. An Imperial Dreadnought of astonishing power, the Javelin is on a direct course for Corellia, escorting a large number of troop carriers. The Javelin is armed with several heavy turbo laser batteries and is capable of devastating a planet from orbit. In control of the Sith Empire. For the moment. Okay, and I think all of my team are going to be involved in this mission. Okay. I wonder if we could have raced and gone ahead of the specialists there. We're in the network room. Breaking Imperial coding makes me all tingly. Zenith sneaked off to security. I imagine he knows what to do with an Imperial security system. Ta-ta for now. Jedi. Security systems being stubborn. Done. I'll watch for any more. Zenith out. Thank you. Oh. Armor is secure, but they locked the door to weapons control. We're cutting through. Not to jinx it. But I expected stronger resistance than this. Might be a harder fight up ahead. Arresto out. Yes, yeah, so far we're having an easy time of it. Oh. 
overwrite and detonate the weapon systems on Imperial attack drones. Oh, I guess we could have used that earlier. I wonder what the range of that thing is. See, that's convenient. Get up to the command deck. Up we go. Ah, greetings, Master Jedi. All parameters are met. My work can finally be demonstrated. I have a bad feeling about this. Obeying my standard orders, I've seeded this vessel with detonite huh? charges. These charges are sufficient to destroy the javelin, its occupants, and nearby vessels. I apologize for any inconvenience caused. These reinforcements were bait. The Empire wanted our alliance dead. Allow me to outline the genius of my work. I have placed multiple detonite charges in mathematically precise positions. All Imperial vessels have been signaled to withdraw, as the countdown has begun. So we just walked into a trap? By my calculations, even if dozens of the charges are disarmed, it is now impossible to prevent the Javelin's destruction. But if we disable as many as we can, there won't be enough of a blast to destroy our ships. You may attempt it, but my placement of the charges is flawless. There are charges on all main coolant regulation systems to ensure complete destruction. I'll send the bomb locations out to everybody. You and I can take care of the charges nearby, and trust the others to reach the rest in time. A shame my accomplishment will soon be superheated vapor, but such is the nature of demolition work. Good day. Oh, great. Down to engineering we go.
I think we need this maintenance drone. Nope, that's not going to do anything. Um... There's something with this maintenance drone. Oh, wait. Okay. Damn it. I just saw it there. Come back over here. There we go. For a minute. Damn it. So even though we disabled some, we found even more. Coolant regulation system ignited. Catastrophic structure integrity failure has begun. Destruction of the journal is imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Please evacuate immediately. Jedi, do you read? We're clearing the tactical stations and everything's flashing red. What's the situation? Alavoice, report. Did any of our ships get caught in that explosion? Ne bagadres, pastiak dan el bines for costinti. Watch that conduit! This area is getting too dangerous. We're pulling out to the ship. No, wait! Call us now. Take point. I can't leave yet. The Imperial crewmen were trying to erase these tactical stations. They might be carrying battle plans. I need to do a full download. If you do this, will you be able to evacuate? Uh, unlikely. Sounds like the whole deck's going to shear off. The pods. I saw a rank of escape pods on this deck. I can make it down to Corellia's surface. Then do it. Stay hidden. We'll come for you. Copy. Now take care of yourself. Be safe, and we'll rendezvous on Corellia. Arezzo, signing off. He's got balls. He's definitely a brave man.
I wonder who'd be doing that if we had Felix in our party as our companion. Time to go. Every time I see you return from not the now, C2. Gurm Genak. If we want Felix back, we can't stand here talking. We think the pod was caught in an automated landing system for Coronet City's shipyards. So it's probably there. Somewhere. To Corellia. To search. And to war. Okay, I guess that's where we're going then. Hey, level 70 it is. And we now have command experience. We are command rank zero, and we need one command experience to level up. I have no idea what command experience is. I think when people were doing flashpoints, they were getting crates. That had oh I see. Interesting. Command experience. Okay, so... We are now... Oh! Okay, so you get experience from disintegrating. I want to claim these. And we have another crate we can open. a companion gift, but I don't mind disintegrating that. We've got all these schematics, but I'm not really going to be crafting anything. But we'll take these command tokens. Um, okay, we'll open another crate. Recon spotter's jacket. See, while I like the look of that, what's wrong? I have something very similar already, so we'll just disintegrate it, I guess. That's a level. That's a le level seventy bit of armor, which can be adapted. Huh? Interesting. I mean, it's interesting, but, you know, I'm not really going to be... It is better, by a large margin. Mm, nope, we're not going to use it. Okay. So, we are command rank 3 right now. I guess we're going to be getting command points from doing missions now, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I may keep this. It's bind on equip, so if I don't sell it, I might use it for my trooper. Let's play. I gain some reputation with the adjudicators. I'm not sure who they are, but fair enough. Okay, cool. We're level 70. Which means we do have a utility point to spend. Oh, 
because there's something else I wanted to use it on. Turbulence can be activated while moving. Yeah, sure. We'll take that. Okay. Ooh, Master, I've marked the best escape pod for your sole use. I, of course, will go down with the ship. Okay. So. <laughs> Felix isn't here anymore. Because he's down on Corellia. Okay. So. We've hit level 70. Hooray. When we come back, though, we're going to be heading over to the Corwood world of Corellia. There has been a situation there. We'll learn more about that when we come back in the next video on our way to the planet itself. But we definitely need to go pick up our companion, Lieutenant Felix Arezzo. And hopefully the data that he's gotten from the Javelin Dreadnought there is worthwhile in pushing back the Imperials on the planet and hopefully the empire as a whole but that's all for next time this of course has been Anne Wolf playing Star Wars The Old Republic I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care and I'll see you for even more in the next video until then though bye bye now